I just hate those football players so much. They would have let me join the Camelot rounds, even though my dad offered the coach money. I heard that Gwen's been cheating on Arthur with Lance, but Arthur's too trusting to realize it. Lance looks at Gwen. He practically worships the girl. But are they supposed to be in youth group together? Don't they have vows to each other? And it, I guess they're just not going to follow them. But I mean, isn't Lance supposed to be the center and just protect him? And isn't Vivian supposed to cheer him on as the best cheerleader on the squad? Oh, the irony. about it. Thank you. She doesn't look very poor. She was wearing for Jacob. Do you know Vivian? Just stay away from her. <laughs> They're definitely more than friends. They're such liars. I'm going to spread so many rumors about them. The whole football team is going to fall apart. Hey Arthur, come here. Your whole football team's corrupt, did you know that? <laughs> he totally just ignored her. What an idiot. I know. Shut up. Hey Max. Hey Vivian. Max, I think I love you. But Max, I really love you. I want to run away from this town, since it seems to be making everything worse. Max, are you okay? Max, I love you a lot, I really do. Max, I don't care if you hate me, or if you hurt me, I'll always love you. Do you love me? Come on, Max, do you love me? Those who are the wisest about love say nothing about it. I'm not going to ask you to kiss me, Max. Although you've helped with my depression, I don't believe that you love me. Wow, you finally spoke. I'm so glad you did. The only time you opened your mouth yesterday was to drink and eat, but I'm kind of annoyed with you. I always put you before myself, and you never thank me. Silence is wise, but it isn't always kind. I know that you're just saying all of this to get the diaries. It's strange, but at the same time, it isn't. I don't think it's very strange. At least not as strange as it was for me to ask you to thank me. And how sad you've been acting. You should let people call you a genius. Your gloomy mood is making you seem less smart than you really are. I just want you to be mine. Prove to everyone that you're mine. Show me you trust me. Giving the diaries to me would be proof that you trust me. If you give them to me, I promise. I'll shut up. I'll just leave you alone. That was a beautiful song, Viv. But I'm not going to tell you about the diaries. Let me tell you a story. Ten or twelve men gathered to chase a gang member that used to hang out in the woods. This was when the football team was just being created. But one of those men went out by himself. If he, wa he wanted the fame for himself. He ended up getting chased by the gang member and was eventually killed. I swear, when I heard you singing, I felt like you knew all of my secrets. Is that the only reason why you're here? To learn my secrets? I followed you into the woods because I saw you were sad and I was worried about you. All I wanted to do was comfort you. That's all men see, don't they? They only look for the bad in situations. Women try to be selfless and help them, and then their motives are questioned. Me, 
Do you remember when Gwen's necklace broke and the pearls went everywhere? Well, no two pearls were ever in the same place next to each other. Kind of like your song that has passed in person to person. You're right. Women dream of love and men dream of fame. But if you ask me, both are worthless. Give me your hand. Let me tell you another story. Once I was walking down the hallway and the freshman was making his football sign to hang in the halls. I asked him what the theme of the sign was, and he replied that it was about how he would be famous one day. I corrected the young freshie and told him that everything is not based upon fame. That young freshie is now a sophomore and is an amazing, loyal running back. What's that sign about? How popular I am. You know, popularity isn't everything. You know, popularity isn't everything. I believe you love me, Viv. I like you, but I'm not sure if I love you. Love has nothing to do with material goods. Materialism is nothing. I wish I could go back to the days before people bullied me for being so smart. Fame isn't always a good thing. I want to give you the diaries, but I'm not sure if I can trust you with them. I just feel so used. You have no faith in me and I can't take it anymore. You're just probably going to use the boys' secrets to get women anyway. I don't need diaries to get girls, Vivian. Let me tell you a story. There was once a quarterback of a football team. He was the best quarterback there ever was. One day, a player for another team tried to steal his spot as number one because he wanted to win the heart of the prettiest cheerleader. The player got half of his team severely injured when he tried to gain her affection. The quarterback also wanted the pretty cheerleader, but the other player refused to give her up. So the quarterback tackled the other player and ran off with the girl. A bunch of other players still fought to win over the cheerleader, but none of them were very successful. Every man near and far came to try to woo her, which made the quarterback very jealous. That was when the quarterback met a guy who knew all of the town's secrets. He made a promise to anyone that could help him. He would give them money and three boxes of donuts to the person that could get the cheerleader to remain his. The guy that he met with gave, everyone, gave the quarterback everyone's diaries, so he knew all of their secrets. He would tell the quarterback all of them. The quarterback threatened to use him against anyone who tried to take the, cheer the cheerleader from him. Maybe the woman wanted to start the war. I mean, what woman wouldn't want to see her man get jealous over her? But get back to the story. I want to know who the football player was. Wait, was it you? No, it wasn't me, but let me continue. The football player wasn't your typical jock. He was poor, he wasn't that bright, and he was very bad looking. The man kept to himself, but he knew all the secrets of everyone. So he went to the quarterback and told him the secrets that he had wished to know. The quarterback used the secrets, and he got the cheerleader. But the man didn't want any of the things that the quarterback promised, and he went back to sitting alone at his table and being a loner. Eventually, those secrets were passed on to me. Wait, you know all of these secrets? What were you going to tell me? I'm sure if you were to be casually talking to yourself, and I just happened to overhear them, then nobody would blame you for using them against somebody. Go ahead. All the secrets were told to me in Latin. So even if I did say them, you wouldn't understand what I was saying. And anyway, how can I trust you with what, what all the football players are saying about you? What do those filthy liars say about me? They pretend to be so good and pure, but if people know what they were really about, then they wouldn't think that way. Oh really? Please tell me what they do, because unless you can support them, then it's just a rumor. What about Vic? When his friend went on vacation and he had to help his friend's girlfriend study, when his friend left, his girlfriend had roses in her room, and when he came back, they were lilacs. So, Vic had to have given her the flowers. No, 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 you've got it all wrong. Vic's girlfriend gave him lilacs, but he's allergic, so he offered them to his friend's girlfriend to be kind. But if you have any other accusations, please do tell me. I'd love to answer them. What about Seth at that party? He totally slept with that girl, even though he has a girlfriend. Nope, you're wrong again, Vic. The girl was sleeping in the bed, and he didn't see her because it was dark and he wasn't feeling good. So he laid in the bed, and in the morning, he woke up, and she was sleeping next to him. So no, he actually didn't cheat. Everybody thinks Percy is so good and pure, but I know that he's truly a bad person. 
Percy is a sober man, but he was offered wine at a party once. He was led outside by the meanest girl in school, and she tries to get him to join his clique, and that might as well be a sin. Do you have any other accusations? Lance is a traitor to Arthur. He and Gwen are secretly seeing each other all the time. The whole school knows about it. I wish that wasn't true. When Arthur first came to the school, he didn't look as rich as everyone else did, but Lance did, so Gwen mistook him as the quarterback of the football team. Ever since then, she's been attracted to him, but that's not Arthur's fault. He really is a good, pure guy. <laughs> what an idiot. Arthur is no man at all if he sees the good in everyone all the time. He's blind if he doesn't see how corrupt the football team has become. Arthur shouldn't be the quarterback because he's an idiot and he's a coward. I feel bad for Arthur. If he could see the bad in people, maybe the football team would be better. I hate every single person on that stupid football team. They're all terrible football players and don't know what they're doing. I can't take it anymore. None of them are loyal to their partners, and they're all doing some sort of bad personal issue that makes them a sinner. Whether I tell her their secrets or not, she's never going to leave me alone. She's a liar, and she's a harlot, and she's only trying to take advantage of me. Did you just call me a harlot? You're so cruel, you're so mean. I loved you, all I, ever did was, all I ever did was love you. I put you above every single one of those football players. You might as well have stabbed me in my heart and ripped it out. I just wanna go crawl under a rock and die. Maybe her love is too. Hey, Vivian, let's go inside. <laughs> between us anymore. I'm leaving now. If you prove that I can trust you, then I'll stay. But goodbye. If I'm scheming against you, then I'll go straight to hell. I hope God isn't punishing me for lying. <laughs> Fine. Their diaries are the janitor's closet. The fool's dead.